He is behind bars linked to the murder of one teen. Tonight, News 6 has learned new documents may link 17-year-old DeAndre Florence to another teen's murder. News 6 reporter Jerry Askin has the story on News 6. New evidence released today first to News 6 now links DeAndre Florence to two homicides happening just two weeks apart. Florence now is already sitting in jail charged with second-degree murder in a case in Paramore where police say Florence and a 16-year-old boy who was killed planned to rob a man over his cell phone. That man opened fire and killed 16-year-old Denham Williams. Florence's mom spoke to me about that case last week. Y'all gave him a whole charge that has nothing to do with him. He ain't murder, kill, slain, he ain't did none of that. Today, new court documents show investigators believe Florence was also likely there and inside this car the morning of December 18th. That is when 15-year-old Alejandro Martinez was shot dead as he walked to Boone High School. Records show Florence gave different stories about where he was that day. Alejandro's family, for months now, has been reliving his last moments. She heard that um, he started running, and the last word he told her was, Mom, they're going to kill me. Detectives told Florence, I've already pulled your phone records. Also saying, you try and get a phone off a boy, and ah, something went bad. The detectives said they've got phone records, DNA, fingerprints, and video surveillance, all of which is helping them build their case. We don't know. We don't know, and that's what hurts the most. And here's a copy of that report that News 6 first got today. And to be clear, deputies have not named a suspect in Alejandro's death, and no charges have been filed. And Florence told investigators, however, that he wasn't involved. In Orange County, I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.